The world is changing. I know you mean to help. I know you love me. But I also know what I'm capable of. And 40 years of boredom and duty just isn't possible for me. This is Michelle Dockery, otherwise known as Lady Mary, eldest daughter of Robert Crawley, Earl of Grantham, and his lovely wife Cora, and resident of Downton Abbey in North Yorkshire, England. In other words, she's extremely British, something that Michelle has done well for quite a while in similar period pieces over the years. But she's recently done dramatically different work in shows like Godless, Good Behavior, and the new Apple TV Plus series, Defending Jacob. Michelle's very first on-camera role was as Betty, one of many troubled patients in an asylum in the BBC miniseries Fingersmith. Shut up, Betty! <laughs> More substantial roles came her way, like Death's Daughter in the fantasy TV movie Hogfather, and a one-off role as an anti-fur activist in an episode of Heartbeat. But there's just something about Michelle that suited characters in period pieces, saying very British things as Arminia White in the award-winning series Cranford. I have new shoes in Glacé Kid, and they are not broken in at all. I must trudge about until they cease to pain me. But she wasn't relegated to just aristocrats by any means, like when she played one of many Jews in the Warsaw Ghetto during World War II in the courageous heart of Irina Sendler. How is it possible for a mother to give up a child? How? Then, beginning in 2010, Michelle played a pivotal role in a little show that captivated audiences worldwide. Downton Abbey focused on multiple storylines of approximately one million characters living on a country estate who either worked tirelessly day and night, or, like Michelle's character Mary, just kinda sat around gossiping. I'll admit that if I ever wanted to attract a man, I'd stay clear of those clothes and that hat. That was certainly how the cold and snobbish Mary started out. But her hardships over the seasons not only mellowed her out quite a bit, they made her stronger, and she became someone to root for, eventually becoming the estate manager of Downton, trying to keep it afloat as the British aristocracy began its decline. Are we right to keep it all going? when the world it was built for is fading with every day that passes. While she was getting three consecutive Emmy nominations for Downton Abbey, Michelle began to make her transition to film, playing a CIA agent in Hannah, a helpful airline attendant in Liam Neeson's Non-Stop, and in an ass-kicking lead role, she helped Matthew McConaughey fend off gangsters trying to undermine his marijuana business in Guy Ritchie's action comedy, The Gentleman. You take one step forward, it'll be the last step you ever take. But if you really want to see Michelle go outside the box, look no further than her recent TV work. For example, Michelle's role as an ex-con and drug addict in the crime drama Good Behavior is the kind of raw character that she had longed to play for years. In 2017, she earned a fourth Emmy nomination for playing Alice Fletcher, one of many widows who step up to run a small town after the death of their respective husbands in a mining accident in the miniseries Godless. Mister, the only way you're getting off that horse is if I shoot you off. And it's no surprise that she'd be great in a legal thriller. In the new Apple TV Plus drama, Defending Jacob, her character explores just how far a mother may be willing to go when her teenage son is accused of murder. All of these different characters are so far removed from Michelle Dockery's performance on Downton Abbey, and that wasn't even her intention. She said that she's simply drawn to three-dimensional women. And whether those women are part of the upper crust of society or are struggling underdogs in an unfair world, Michelle always knows how to make an impression. Won't you stay and have some tea? Oh no, you're far too busy. And I wouldn't want to push you in. 